Hi guys. <clears throat> it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful spring night here in the collapse of everything. And that would be a lovely Tuesday night, uh, March 12th, 2024. So your old doomer real estate investor, or should I say human stupidity investor, has been out busy uh, trying to make money off of clueless fucking morons and uh, get home to uh, <laughs> read, re read this very bizarre story in, uh, in medium.com which uh, ha has some warnings for real estate investors and on, on top of everything else he actually mentions real estate investors better take note of this story. Uh, and, and this is from this fellow, one of my heroes on Medium.com, one of my favorite writers of all, and this is the mythical bee. And the mythical bee, I think he also is some sort of hermit. I can't ever remember. He, he has another website with hermit in it. Anyway, I'm not even sure B is a guy, but uh, I have featured B on many uh, of my my videos. Never talked to this person. Never, I have no idea if B knows uh, or, or gives a damn whether I exist or not. And so I was a little bit taken aback by this, and, 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 and I really don't know why. And uh, on his latest long essay, which I'm only going to touch on, yes, little dog? I guess the little dog does not want to hear any more of this rant. Uh, simply titled The Depopulation Bomb. And, and, and I'm a little unclear because B never comes right out and says whether he is cheering on the depopulation bomb or not. I think that B is agreeing with uh, with Elon Musk, and I am not necessarily disagreeing with Elon Musk that uh, depopulation uh, is a major threat to uh, to global industrial civilization, which is why I am a huge fan. Uh, of depopulation. It, it, it is, it, if I had to, if, if there was one tiny sliver of hopium that I still desperately cling to, and that is falling birth rates. I mean, it is the most common theme in my Good News Monday that we have more good news that more countries' birth rates are falling uh, more dramatically. And, and, and so I get, can, and so I guess what I do, I have this tendency, as we all do, what's that called? Projection. Because I am a doomer uh, who understands that humans are the biggest threat to the planet, that the, cure, the, the only way to save the planet is to get rid of the humans. So any in any way we can get rid of humans, preferably by lowering the birth rate uh, even a lot better than raising the death rate. I have always preferred uh, lowering the birth rate. This is why I think the entire human race needs to be sterilized. But until that happens, at least hallelujah, you know, more and more uh, couples are pulling their heads out of their asses and saying, what in the fuck is in it for me or, 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 or this planet or, or our unborn children to be a fucking breeder? More and more people uh, all over the world are making the decision not to have these fucking kids, to keep their fucking pecker in their pants, not let their knickers down. Hallelujah. Uh, so uh, so I, am, I, am, I, I am just, uh, you know, absolutely, I guess, amazed. So I don't even know if B would call himself a doomer or not. So I, 
you know, this whole definition of the word doomer, uh, you know, obviously uh, it, it depends on, I guess, I, you know, I just assumed that B was swimming around with me and those doomers and what I call swimming around in the deep end of the uh, doomsday uh, prophecy pool and that is the ecological, the environmental ecological collapse of the planet. Uh, but apparently B is more concerned about, he is a doomer talking about the collapse of global industrial civilization. And though he never comes right out and says it, I guess it's implied in here that he is a fan of the global industrial economy, uh, you know, which is the engine of global industrial civilization. And so he apparently is concerned about the depopulation bomb. Uh, when I think uh, we should be, when any doomer uh, should be dancing in the fucking streets celebrating uh, the depopulation bomb. Uh, you know, th 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 this goddamn bomb has to keep blowing off, a, you know, when, 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 it, when we get down to a billion people, as I said in my comment to be, when, you know, when the bomb gets us down to a billion, every one of our fellow earthlings can start to breathe a sigh of relief. And when there's not a fucking human left on this planet, finally, uh, every other species on this planet that we manage, that somehow manage to survive us, uh, can go on with their lives, fixing the fucking damage that we caused. Uh, you know, anything that the depopulation bomb can do to destroy the global industrial economy, including real estate investors. Uh, you know, obviously the doomer inside of me, which, which is every fucking real estate investor, uh, would have a fucking tree fall on them, get run over by a fucking bulldozer. Real estate investors are fucking scumbags. They're, they're part of the fucking problem. You know, it's not like I don't realize this. Uh, get rid of the fucking real estate investors, the banksters behind it all, get rid of the fucking humans. And, and the other thing about this is he leans heavily uh, on, uh, uh, on the writings of John Michael Greer. Uh, and, and, and I guess uh, I, I, I'm not a big fan of John Michael Greer's. You can find an interview with him on this channel that somebody else, I, I didn't even interview the guy. I did not even listen to the interview. I have never listened to the John Michael Greer interview on my own channel, okay? That's how much I give a flying fuck what comes out of that blowhard, fat ass's mouth. I, I, but, but, but apparently, uh, John Michael Greer and B and, and, and Elon Musk and Alex Jones are all in the same fucking room here, uh, bitching about uh, that we're not uh, having enough babies on this planet. Uh, good fucking God, but my, it just, you know, uh, just one more person uh, that I had some respect for going down the fucking toilet. Don't know what this guy is talking about. Uh, I, I'm going to put the link on here. And uh, you can read it too. Oh shit, I should have changed batteries. There's no way of knowing. Uh, anyway, oh fuck the battery. I, I'm just going to rant here until the battery goes out, which might be 2 minutes or 20. Uh, so just, so this is how his preamble, 
there is a silent aspect of civilizational decline, a marked fall in population numbers. I write silence deliberately as it happens in the background without too many of us taking notice or realizing the gravity of the situation. When talking about the collapse of civilizations, most people envision mass casualty events, famine, war, natural disasters, wiping out half of the population in almost an instant. Sure enough, this looks both terrifying and extremely powerful in Hollywood movies, but nothing, nothing could be further from the truth. You heard it from B that the collapse of civilization will have nothing whatsoever to do with famine, war, natural disasters, whatever. Nothing could be further from the truth. You heard it from B. Especially not when it comes to our modern civilization and its unfolding demise. A radically different world is unfolding in front of our eyes and we are not the least prepared. And, uh, but he does, uh, you know, start out with the good news. Uh, talking about how in 1970, we've all heard this shit, uh, the world's total fertility rate was well above five live births per woman. Now it's around 2.3 and is falling steadily. Of course, Africa still has a total fertility rate of 4.1, down from nearly double that in the mid 20th century and falling. But Asia and Latin America both have fertility rates of 2.0, North America including Mexico at 1.8, and Europe is down to 1.6 live births per woman. Hallelujah, the one ray of hopium on this planet. And he quotes at length from uh, John Michael Greer. Um, and if I have time before the battery, uh, this is what John Michael Greer has to say about it. The consequences of sustained population contraction are the stinger in the tail of our current predicament because it wasn't just our technologies that were designed around the short-term condition of rapid growth driven by abundant fossil fuel energy, so were our economies. It seems like simple common sense to most people nowadays that assets will on average increase in value, investments will yield a return, which is why I am a real estate investor in Florida, and businesses will make a profit. Stop and think about that for a minute though. Why does this happen? Because the economy grows every quarter. Why does the economy grow every quarter? There are many reasons, but they all ultimately boil down to the fact that population increases. With every passing year, there are more people joining the workforce, buying assets such as real estate, making investments such as real estates, and purchasing goods and services. Thus, population growth is the engine behind economic growth. Thank you, John Michael Greer. Unbelievably. So this is why I am always calling out uh, these goddamn uh, conspiracy wackos talking about the, the nefarious day and their depopulation agenda, the, uh, the New World Order, otherwise known uh, as the global industrial economy, uh, as John Michael Greer points out, is 100 
percent dependent on an ever expanding population. There is nothing in it for the New World Order, for the World Economic Forum, for the UN, for the World Bank, for the IMF, for the Davos Boys, uh, for Bill Gates, for Elon Musk, for any of them to depopulate this planet. Every one of those motherfuckers 100% dependent on, uh, on, on more people uh, being born on this planet. And the only other thing I really wanted to comment on here was uh, what you know he talks about all of these environmental toxins uh, affecting you know I'm, I'm sure sperm counts and and reproductive rates and about how all of this pollution and garbage that we are creating is making more and more people infertile which is absolutely good news I'm cheering on all this shit but of course the flip side that he never mentions is that anything that is making humans infertile is also making all of our uh, all of our fellow earthlings uh, sterile and infertile too so uh, it, it, as much as I cheer on anything uh, any toxins that we have created to bring down our own birth rates by sterilizing us all uh, as much as I love to cheer them on uh, it, 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 it's gonna it's gonna fuck our fellow earthlings as bad as us but but the, but the bottom line with this whole thing I, I'll put the this is a log you know B does his homework uh, but uh, 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 you get it or you fucking don't. Apparently, B and John Michael Greer don't fucking get it. They just don't fucking get it. As much respect as I have for this man and so much of what he talks about and, you know, when he's talking about the collapse of civilization, uh, I, 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 I'm going I'm, I'm to listen to this man. But obviously, as far as I can tell, brother, you have no fucking concern about all of our fellow earthlings uh, that global industrial civilization and the global industrial economy are, 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 are taken down. Uh, that, that you're just one of these human primacists uh, that, uh, that humans, uh, that this whole fucking planet uh, belongs to fucking humans. I just happen to disagree with you, brother. Okay? Can we learn to d just disagree with each other? Anyway, bring on the mythical depopulation bomb. The sooner the better. I still have a battery. Bye guys. I don't believe it. We made it through the rant. Uh, with the imminent collapse of the battery flashing. Alright. Little dog, I got to get back to real estate investing in Florida. We need to drain some wetlands while we still can. Bye, guys.